Jay? Where are we going? Uh, Whistling Key. Whistling Key. And there is a ruin of a small stone house we can see from there. Or something. Or something. Hey there. So this video is a little bit of a description of Whistling K and the little stone structure that we saw um, over on the shoreline. Uh, it's kind of a protected area, but wasn't really designed as a home. Um, it's very small and it was a guard shack. Guards, you say? Who needs guards? Back in the early days of this colony, it was the Danish West Indies and slaves were utilized to grow sugar cane and process it and make the rum that everyone wanted. The proximity of the British islands to uh, what is now the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. John's, um, is very narrow. They call it the Narrows. And um, slaves, in an attempt to escape, would swim the Narrows. So they put a guard shack up to apprehend the slaves because they were necessary for this rum industry. Good news for everyone, July 3rd, 1848, slavery was ended and slaves were emancipated. And there is no longer uh, rum as a product of the Virgin Islands. So this is a little video tour of the island and the things that we saw. And I hope you enjoy this little series on the Virgin Islands. Whistling Key. This is USVI. That in the distance is the baby eyes. and Jack. And if you like our videos, I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We're at like almost 700 people drop off, drop on, whatever. But uh, hit that like button, share, subscribe. And Jack has his own channel. It's Jack's Best Dog Life. And we're on Instagram and on YouTube. So enjoy our little dinghy tour and enjoy.
on this nice cement wall. And here's a little sign. 1972. Something by, restored by Reginald Allendorf DeWall. Eldred Dawson. Nice. Guys brought some stuff out here and did some work. And here's the previous stone edge. This is a pretty stout little building. It's lived here through a lot. Tree grown right up in it. building. So that is taking some time. Very cool. And uh, this is a banyan, no doubt, probably a rural, Cuban laurel because of the air roots that attract the wa bring water into the plant. Side of that tree growing right up the building came off from that one that they probably planted it by for shade Ricky. 